All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Delicious, Delicious in Dungeon, Dungeon, episode seven. All right. Chill Chuck, mm -hmm. you're a good man. Man, not child. Right. Even right. though, you know, to more than half of the party, you are a child. Mm. Yes, he is yeah. proficient, though, in half-related things, though. That's true. Mm -hmm. That is true. It's in yes. his wheelhouse, as it were. Yeah. Uh, but also what's in the wheelhouse of this dungeon is some lore. Mm-hmm. Some pretty crazy those, lore. In those paintings, there's some stuff being set up. Some nice story foundation sprinkled throughout time. As far as... <laughs> Laos is hungry ass, like, just <laughs> arriving in there like, oh, while I'm in the painting, this is satisfying. I, but then when I leave, uh, like, yeah. I'm, still, I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. But also... I would love if at some point if that like elf mage becomes like a like a recurring character, mm -hmm. which love the design, all that stuff. I would love to get an episode from their perspective as they're like, so everything was going perfectly normal, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> this kingdom was fine, and then suddenly yep. this dude shows up. I'm traveling just rando, and... Mm -hmm. and he just disappears, and I never know when he's gonna show up again, and like he doesn't. He doesn't even really cause much chaos. It's yeah, just consult always the council. The time. You're right. We must get to the bottom of this. We must find out what happened here. It's some like full, you know, uh, grandfather paradox loop situation where uh, <laughs> he ends up, you know, you know, having like a kid with someone in time or what have you, and then they end up causing the downfall of the dungeon. <laughs> that would be. That would be nuts. It would be, it would be, uh, it would be, yeah. it would be a lot. But the thing is, is that this show rides the line between the cozy, simple, happy, just hey, let's eat some monsters that we find mm -hmm. in the dungeon, like a crab mimic thing. Yep. Yeah. Why not? To also being like, wait, is this a hyper serious, you know, fantasy yeah. with all these like rules and world? They, they and snuck stuff? it in there with a fun gag. Exactly. And now, hmm, hmm. Now yeah. that cat like. Like, looking at everything, just like, sus. You okay. can never know what to expect. Yeah, so, y'all, yeah. without further ado, let's get into this. Ah, uh, this is the story of the other party. <laughs> oh, shit. The money! Where'd it go? Hmm, being watched. Yeah. たちの前にここ。うん。うん。髪の毛。栄養系の魔術とは誰かが接触したのは確かなようね。おお、ナイス。That's Meanwhile, yes, meanwhile. <laughs> the music, stop! <laughs> Don't you dare touch my beard. I've got cheese, you know, culturing in my beard. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no! No! Wait. Not the soap! Oh! Oh, this is that spot from the OP. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> we can get his. Yeah. <laughs> Easily fall for the path of ease. Now you can walk on water. Now he's going to chase you across the water. Yeah. Push. <laughs> Wait. It's because of your dirty beard. He has. <laughs> we need to burn it. So he'll do like a half swim. 
Yes. He's gonna, He's be gonna hold his really breath dumb. and walk across the surface. No, something's gonna come to eat it. Yeah. And he's gonna ride it to the other side. Oh. A Kelpie, maybe? Yeah, it could be a Kelpie, yeah. Yeah. But don't those usually try and drown yeah. you? Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn! It is a monster. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, if Anne does just take him down underwater as like a repeat of the drown joke, that'd be... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that is really funny, though! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Alas, who could have seen this coming? Yeah. No one could have foreseen this. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Oh! Alright, so now we're gonna eat Kelpie. They're dead. Nice. Well done, Laos, though. But... Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, time to eat. Oh, hmm. he doesn't want to eat. Oh, no, he is like, it's time to eat. <laughs> Always. It's his way of showing respect. Mm. It's my fault that she's dead. Yeah. So... I'm gonna make soap. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's an Is ambush. It the same party. Okay. It is oh, the yeah. same party. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Uh-oh. Snap out of it! Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's messing up their singing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amazing. I took the trouble to remember it. He's oh. not trying to block no. the things. He's just He's trying, trying to, to harmonize. Along. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> he's, he's so great. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninjo ni wa shirui ga gyorui no ga iru. Okay. Ore wa gyorui no kou. Heso ya chikubi wa nai shi. Era mo aru. Okay. Bunrui teki ni wa ushi ya buta yori hito kara to. So we should eat this one. <laughs> it's sentient. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Now he's sad. We just had this little adventure while y'all yep. were... Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've never seen that face from him. Ah, that looks really tasty. <laughs> Wait, what if it was mimic grain? Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were, they were. Hmm. Yeah. 
Then we're not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Mm -hmm. Right, you don't have to use it on your beard if you don't want to. But you can use to clean. Oh. Oh, and he did wash his beard. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it is incredible. Yes. Let's manga panel this shit. Right. Comb it, get all the tangles out, yep. make it nice and floofy. Then when it dries, it's just gonna be yeah. poof. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Holy shit. It's that is armor. incredible. Cast it on the beard. Yeah. No way, it was actually oh how my God. fucking dirty he was. Yeah. That's too funny. It had like the guts of some magic resistant monster in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just, please let his beard like be like this all the time now. Yes. Ah, yes, meanwhile. Oh. Oh, nasty little shit. All right. Magic missile, I can't miss. How dare you fish with dynamite? Yeah. Ah, mm. cool, the food chain. But we could die! Yeah, we were being attacked! Actually, not as many mid-sized monsters means there's something big that, mm. you know. I'm part of the ecosystem too. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yep, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> he can see it. He's like, guys, don't panic. There's something bad down there. Oh, it's a gigantic squid! Alright, so we gotta eat this. Oh my gosh. So how exactly do you eat this? <laughs> so cool. Yep, alright. Ah. Boom! Oh, no, it wasn't enough. I think you just pissed it off. <laughs> he just observing, just right. Mm -hmm. Clinical. What the? Oh! Ah! Huh? There we go. <laughs> Panicking through his spellbook, yes. To propel this really fast. Yes. Mm. They should carry the similar vitals should properties. be similar, yeah. On it, yeah! Ah! Get it soft underbelly. Yeah, it's like, oh! That's, I love that. That's brilliant. Oh! Dead. Just like that. One shot. And it's gonna stay up there mm -hmm. for an hour or yeah. however long. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's different parts, you know? Yeah. Oh, does it have a parasite? Oh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Just like a giant tapeworm or something. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna talk about yeah. this? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my Full god. Full on fillet it. Fileo parasite. Yep. Oh my god. On fire. Perfect. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
That looks, looks so, so good. good. That looks so good. God damn it. You didn't have proper. Yeah, there you ecosystem. go. Uh oh. <laughs> and that's why you cook it. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's the circle of life. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. It has all the protection it needs. That's right. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Eventually, Laos stopped thinking. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, this show is such a vibe. This show it's is like... such a vibe. Oh, I know why this is the ED. It's why? a party. Every episode is an adventure. So, of course, after an adventure, you come home to party. Oh, that's yeah. great. You have yeah. your little party at the tavern, you know? Yeah. And then the funny meta joke of it being a party, you know? Mm -hmm. So, right. you know, like, oh. Now I want to look up the lyrics and see, like, if it has something to do with that, too. Sure. I mean, I definitely heard party in there. Wonderful episode. That was great. That was fantastic. That was just, it was fun. <sighs> Mm -hmm. It was it was it had that bit of silly, that mm -hmm. bit of sweet, mm -hmm. you know, right? Like just just like a, a good meal, you it's know. You've got a mix of a bunch of different things. Very well balanced. Yes, I That's think right. my favorite uh, aspect of this was the idea that Marcel finally actually had a moment where people listened to her and took her seriously, mm -hmm. and that's that sense she was like, yeah, you worked really hard on that soap, and yeah, sure, show me how to use it. Let's use right. it. Right, and so it they also clean all the dishes. They clean all their clothes. Uh -huh. And then, yep. they, yeah, they clean his beard. Right. And it's glamorous and glorious. And, and apparently, good. it was so clumpy right. that because it actually wasn't so expanded to the full volume. And now it's his whole just like fucking boom. clothing. Like, just, yeah, just he could be naked under his whole that body. beard. Yeah, and, and you no would, one would never know. know. Yeah. To which wouldn't be able to do anything to him. <laughs> but I also love that her suspicions of... <gasps> It's this. That's why the the magic uh -huh. won't work, and it actually does end up. It, it was exactly that. Yeah, the, and you don't know what it was. Why? That was in that beard, Who but, knows? But there there was some shit in there. Yeah, that yeah. was ancient. I liked your idea of there was magically resistant flesh and blood, like yeah. of just random things. That's in there. just stuck in there, and it's just, just fucking oh. with it. You know. Whoops. I mean, you know. Darn. Yeah. It happens. It know? happens. The like. <laughs> The, like it, it was it was fun because the the episode felt like everything flowed from one thing to the next mm, you know it didn't right. feel as like like separate skit kind of kind of deal yeah and yet there were moments of danger and yet it never felt truly tense or scary right like it yeah. it, it felt comfy even in the and now we have to fight a kraken you know right like how is this <laughs> right. going to work just casually a kraken shows up or I think it was the confidence with which uh, Laos specifically was like okay it's a kraken. Yeah, we'll distract it. We'll mm -hmm. get we'll get things set up. Marcio, you use your magic, and and we'll we'll get you a nice fireball opportunity. Right, and then, fucking genius, Senshi was like, "No, I've got it." Cast water walk. Cast on water it. walk. Because I'm actually I'm curious, Jacob, mm -hmm. is there some vernacular in this spell where you can't, like, so, intentionally sink? So, um, not necessarily. Usually, at least going from the five E thing, it's the whole at the end of your turn you go 60 feet you know towards the surface but um usually that's why there's that stipulation of on a willing creature right because right, otherwise there's right. all those utility things that come up where it's like oh cool so i cast water walking on the right but this is know, obviously not based on fifth edition specifically exactly or well anything, and and it's or even D &D, and it's, it's taking just... all of those sort of uh clunky aspects of things that are in there because it's a game right we're talking about a story here right so, so that stuff wouldn't exist that stuff you know? wouldn't exist but also just the idea of like oh yeah if you've got something that needs water to survive just make it or always float or just be mobile right like because right. that's you know if you're underwater then yeah it's an aquatic creature it'll have the advantage right yeah. but okay now they're walking on the water 
So now it's just effectively subterranean, right? Right. Like, so we can't get to it. We got to fix that, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then there I, you go. I, I just love that idea. Like, if my players ever were like, okay, we've got some, like, underwater thing that we're trying to fight with and we mm -hmm. can't, I'm going to make it, you know, float on top of the water using some, like, Maybe I'd make them upcast water walk at a sure, high level or, or, or something. Sure, or make some kind of check to see if they can you yeah, know, do yeah. it, or or yeah. it gets a saving throw, or you know, yeah. Sure, a saving throw would probably just be the more apt mm -hmm. thing against their spell save DC. But that that just seems such like such a cool oh, yeah. idea. It's, it's just it's just fun, creative problem solving, yeah, and then yeah. that that also, if you think about it, like from a narrative standpoint within this episode, but also if you were to talk about in a campaign from a mm -hmm. game design standpoint, that keeps the fight dynamic because mm -hmm. like. The whole point of a Kraken fight is how frustrating it is to deal with all the tentacles. All the tentacles, and stuff, right, yeah. Right? And then now all of a sudden it's like, okay, now instead we it's change this it massive to a, bludgeoning thing that could crush you. That, that could crush you. Right. And it's still on top there, so it might be writhing around or whatever. And if you want to get to, say, the top where you have to do the, the killing blow, which great, that's an opportunity. Yeah. You still have to deal with the fact that maybe it's writhing around <laughs> right, or whatever. Right. It's not going to be easy to yeah, walk on. You know, or it's anything. a slippery, you know, <laughs> suctiony thing. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, how do you do that? Yeah, that's just really fun. Yeah. But, yeah. And then, but I think, I think my favorite bit from the episode. Mm -hmm. Because cause, uh, since you're talking about, ah, yes, we are also part of the circle of life, mm. you know, that was that was delightful. Yes. But my favorite bit was Laos singing along with the mermaids. That was so good! And, <laughs> and he's not even intending, like, because the, there, there's so many different jokes within the joke. The, he is immune to their singing and or is able to make other people immune to their singing because it's so bad. He Great. disrupts it, basically. Yeah, he yeah. disrupts it because it's no longer a beautiful song anymore, right? Right. But then to pull it back even further, and it's the no, that's not an intentional thing. He is li he is actually trying to sing along with them, right? And that's also probably why it works because since he's actually keeping up with them pretty well, mm -hmm. he's just not good at singing. Mm -hmm. It's harder to differentiate. Whereas if it was a different song, maybe you'd still hear the perfect or, beautiful song or, or something. Or to go even further, he's encountered so many sirens that he knows exactly what their yeah. song is, right? And they're fucking pissed, not because his singing is bad, ah. but because his singing is just good enough that their magic literally isn't affecting yeah. it's him. Like, it's like the most... And they're like, fuck, fuck you, like, well then, okay. You, you want to talk about the whole, you know, water walk, oh, hey, that's a clever application of something. Right. This is the kind of thing that I would expect, like, like a, a physicist or a sound engineer to come up with, where they're like, actually, if it's magic that's delivered by sound waves, mm -hmm. then if you sing at the same time, you frequency. know, same frequency or the same, you know, like sounds, Wavelength, general sounds yeah. and all that stuff, right? Theoretically, the wavelengths would, or, you know, the sound would intermingle, and then maybe that would disrupt some of the magic, mm -hmm. you know, because now it's an, an unmagical yeah, thing. Yeah, give you advantage some... on all your saves, you know. You're or right. you're in an echoey enough area that your voice is also sounding like it's coming from everywhere, just like theirs. Yeah, so and it's like... everyone in your party gets advantage on and saves. And Laos has no idea of any of this. He's right. just He's just doing it because he likes it. And, and, fact, yet, and yet, I want to... I wanna... Now, like, push back mm. against that idea a little bit. There's actually a possibility that he knows what they're trying to do. He knows this is sure. disruptive. He it, doesn't care because that's not why he's doing it. He wants to sing along with right. them. Right, it's the, he, you know, he claps and he does, and maybe he starts singing also because it's the, oh, yes, it'll be helpful here because Chilchuck was getting, you know, right. affected by them. The fact that uh, Laos wasn't is also fun but but then it's like yeah no okay i'll start singing with you guys hey no yes you're not gonna eat us but we can still <laughs> we, don't we can harmonize be, eh, we don't you know? have to be enemies why don't why don't we just sing together this right. is great and they're just like and then they just leave okay ruining our food you know deal here yeah 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 and then of course that brings up the whole conversation of okay laos wanting to eat all these different monsters and stuff mm. but what happens when it's <laughs> not 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 human, right? Like it's well. That's why you know, he was saying no demi humans. And I think what the point is is that there's there's a there's a fun discussion to be had uh -huh. of if they're fighting monsters, right? Eventually, they're gonna fight some monsters that have um, you know above six intelligence, basically. Sure. Um, eating those is uh, uh, might be uh, might be a bit much. Or at the very least, the ones that are humanoid, right? Like, you know, well, it's like, really? like, like, well, because it's like, because it's like, okay, that feels maybe a bit. A close dragon to might have twenty you know? intelligence, you know. Yeah, but you know, if it's tasty, right? Well, well, Whereas, like, what is the difference? But no, but his point, I, no, I am no, with yeah. him. His point of, wait a minute, why do you guys get so freaked out about mammals? 
-hmm. when I can't have my mammy eating plant that I want to grow. <laughs> now, I understand the danger part of it. Right. But I think I think he's actually bringing up a very fair point in that it's the, I think it's actually more about intelligence, or at least that's where it oh, should yeah. be, rather than the actual, like, thing there. But then, the I mean, part once that you that kill actually, it, it's dead. Well, right, know. but the point that that comes into is that it's the, wait, so unless it speaks... Right, exactly. Certain dogs you know, can just yeah. go, I love you, you know? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed they can. And some animals are actually smarter than dogs by a right. fair margin. So so this really, like this is a slippery slope where it turns into, is cannibalism really that bad? Because really what it comes down to is that it's the desire for the survival of the species. So it's, hey, we shouldn't hunt and kill each other for the purposes yes, of eating. We've evolved to generally have a predisposition to not hunt our own kind because of biology yeah, yes. right at the very least not for survival sake not for because survival that's a sake. bit that's a bit you know yeah, yeah. right so Cannibal when it comes sake. to other things that's fine but if they if they took one of those like the the actual like humanish mermaids and they cut it at the hips right and just chopped it in half then they have a fish tail right because the whole point is that it's human and fish right you know in the same way that you have like a like you know the chimeras and things this like that. this is an already dead mermaid you're talking yeah, about right here, right of I'm course guessing. of course right, right, you know yeah yeah, uh -huh. yeah exactly and so then it's like okay you could get some sashimi here it's true you know and then just make sure to like leave a couple inches of extra to make sure that you're far enough away from <laughs> the human thing <laughs> what what I think is what I think is funny here is the idea that Senshi's sage kind of wisdom of mm -hmm. ah already from the beginning we were getting eaten from the inside out you know like like <laughs> like like we 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 can't really fuck up the 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 ecosystem that much like we are a part of it as well there yeah. is there is there is something that is inherently um uh arrogant to basically say sure. that we as humans are not also animals there yeah. are there is a gradient of intelligence when it comes to animals where you get pretty close not to human intelligence but pretty close to what feels like human intelligence yeah with certain animals so in the world of magic and monsters and creatures that are demi-humans or are at the sure. very least similar enough that they'd have maybe uh slightly less intelligence or similar or more advanced intelligence yeah it would be kind of fucked up to eat a mermaid i i think i think i think like i think like if i was because we have our party called the the food fighters, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And we 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 were doing this. We've been doing this for a couple of years now. So, right, like, yeah. There's those times where we're like, oh, a rock, wonderful. Let's it's let's basically eat it. a big chicken. It's a big chicken, yeah. And then yeah. other times where we're like, no, we're not gonna eat a giant. That's fucked up. Like, well, right, because it you know it looks sort of human like. <laughs> I mean, no. But if it's like. <laughs> but like, if, if there you, was okay, no, to put here's it in perspective. A here's a person put it in perspective. Okay, yeah. Let's say. Let's say you have a sentient, I don't know, crocodile. Yeah. Yeah. Crocodile, for whatever reason, well, has, like, talking, thinking, you or, know, like, you know, or in able another, to reason with yeah. you, of like, hey, 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 or I could be your pet before you eat me. <laughs> don't right. you fucking dare, you know? Or in another example from a different campaign with the same group, yeah. I had a character who was an eloquence bard, and I decided to take the the eldritch adept feat to get the thing where I could speak with animals for free. With, yeah, unlimited times. Unlimited yeah. times. And so I can talk to animals. But the thing is, this person is, like, from small town, you know, farms, all that stuff. So when they go to, like, slaughter a cow, you know, and, <laughs> like, all the other people in the party were like, wait, what the fuck? I'm like, what? It's, you know, it's the thing they're like, yeah, but it could talk to you. It could be like, please don't kill me, <laughs> you know? What do you do then? It's like, well... Uh, I can uh, speak with everything then. <laughs> Yeah, you have a you yeah. have an extra special appreciation or not for um, <laughs> you know it's it's just you know you you uh, approach it with you know sobriety you know it's uh, and then you have Henry Crabgrass you for the wrath where we can get, we can get right. speak all the way down to the tiniest yeah yeah exactly and then it's like ah we can't walk on grass ever again <laughs> it's like okay that all right, might, that, that might be going that a bit might be far. going a bit far. But that's that's also maybe the, the the fun thing with Senshi's thing is that nature is beautiful, mm. but it is also a bitch, and that is yes. that and there terrifying. are things constantly killing and eating each other, mm -hmm. and that's how life be. Yep. that's how life be. But just because you can 
kill something doesn't to mean the, that you should doesn't mean that you should right and i and i love the the whole ah yes you used magic to try and attack like things underwater and so you just you basically were just fishing with dynamite. <laughs> <You> just, <laughs> just <laughs> boom. Just <laughs> dead. That just feels, float to the that feels like something I would do as a DM is the I cast fireball to blow up all the, you know, right. twelve blade fish they're attacking. It's like how, where did you point the fireball at? Right here. How far above the water? Uh you know, like five feet. But oh. Well, it's well fine. okay. So you sent a sonic it wasn't blast. Underwater, you know? You, you, yeah, you sent a concussive sonic blast through the water. Mm-hmm. And about 50 other blade fish kind of float up to the top, just dead. I mean, it's like, hey, that could have been a follow-up encounter. They could have been waiting in the wings, you that, know? That, right? True. For, for, you know, you, you never know. And, you and, never know. And, and yes, this is the this is what separates the murder hobos from the, like, actual murder hobos. Right. Is that, well, and, uh, <laughs> murder hobos are said to be just the ones that kill everything. But mm-hmm. in a lot of ways, it's just the... Ah, oh, no, they could have attacked us, you know. Well, no. and and that's why I love that we also had the whole bit with Anne, the Kelpie. Yes, where where since she is like, no, I he have been read making... up on his Scottish folklore. Yeah, he's like, he's like, <laughs> no, but but I can fix her. This one's different, right? Like I can tell we've formed a bond, a connection. He gets on. Did the and Kelpie it's, call you Senshi? Right. I don't, like, I don't know about you know, that. Yeah. You know, like. and, and, and it's just a repeat of the joke of him walking on water and then immediately sinking, you know? Yeah. He gets on Kelpie. It takes him out. He's like, see this. Per- uh oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, because of course. And then Laos is like throwing the rope in to try and save him and has to go in and kill it. And Senshi's just like, what have we done? No. Yeah. But, you know, her body will be with you always. With the soap that you used to clean your beard. Yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access. There you can watch full-length timer reactions that are in all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.